Ah, let us continue from here onwards. So last time we have seen the stress strain relations and these stresses give rise to the bending moments Mx My and Mxy. This Mxy is a twisting moment. It's a twisting bending moment. Now we have to calculate this moments due to the stresses because this is the bending analysis of plate. Now let's consider consider a plate of unit width and thickness t. Say the width of plate is one meter and thickness is t. t is the thickness and unit width say this is the neutral axis of a plate let's consider a small strip let's consider a small strip of thickness dz small strip of thickness dz at a distance z from neutral axis a small strip of thickness dz at a distance z from the neutral axis then we can calculate the bending moment mx bending moment mx equal to so you have considered a plate of unit thickness a unit width with thickness t and a small strip dz at a distance z from the neutral axis is considered. So the bending moment mx is given by minus t by 2 to t by 2. Minus t by 2 to t by 2. So this is equal to the force. Moment we know it is a force into distance. Now due to strip we have to calculate and for entire total thickness we have to integrate from minus t by 2 to t by 2. So for strip we know the thickness is stress. What is the force? It is sigma x stress into area. Area is 1 into dz. So force into distance. If we consider the bending moment of strip, the stress acting on the strip multiplied by area of strip and this becomes force multiplied by the distance z multiplied by the distance z so this gives us bending moment now this is equal to minus t by 2 to t by 2 now let's substitute for sigma x what is sigma x from the stress strain relationships so sigma x is e divided by this is e divided by minus nu square sigma x e divided by minus nu square into bracket so this is nu sigma x uh, epsilon x plus epsilon y into z into dz let us rearrange this z into dz now substitute for epsilon x and epsilon y so this we can take outside e divided by 1 minus nu square integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 now what is this nu into nu minus z dabba square w by dabba x square minus z dabba square w by dabba y square into z into dz now also we know that but but integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 z square dz is equal to moment of inertia 
सो इंटीग्रेशन माइनस टी बाई टू टू टी बाई टू जेड स्क्वायर डी जेड इक्वल टू मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ प्लेट सो दिस इज नथिंग बट वन इन टू टी टू बाई ट्वेल्व और दिस प्लेट ऑफ थिकनेस टी एंड विथ वन द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज वन इंटू टी टू बाई ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज इक्वल टू और लेट सब्सटीट्यूट दिस e into t cube divided by 12 into 1 minus nu square into 1 minus nu square so and what is left here so minus we take outside so this becomes nu dava w by dava square w by dava x square plus dava square w by dava y square so this is a max and here we can use this minus dp into bracket nu dava square w by dava x square plus dava square w by dava y square where this dp is called where dp equal to e T cube. Okay, it's e t cube divided by twelve one minus nu square. This is called flexural rigidity of plate. Flexural rigidity of plate so a t cube by 12 into 1 minus mu square that is poisson's ratio is called flexural rigidity of plate so now we have derived the expression for mx so this is mx now similarly in a similar way we can derive the expressions for the m y and m x y so bend the moment in y direction and twisting moment so similarly similarly m y equal to integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 sigma y into bracket 1 into z into z now we will substitute for sigma y and then the strength sigma x sigma z and after doing all these calculations we we'll get this minus dp into bracket dabba square w by dabba x square plus mu dabba square w by dabba y square so this is m y and finally m x y twisting moment is equal to integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 then this is tau x y 1 into t z into z So after substituting for tau x y and corresponding values of strength, that is gamma x y, and finally we arrive at minus d p into bracket. So this expression we will get one minus nu dabba square w divided by dabba x dabba y say these three expressions this 1 2 and 3 we can write down in matrix form so in matrix form in matrix form what we get is m x m y and mxy equal to the minus dp flexural residue of plate 
and in bracket what we get in matrix 1 nu 0 then this is nu 1 0 for mx this is nu sorry this is nu 1 0 and this is 1 nu 0 then this is 0 0 1 minus nu and here we get daba square w by daba x square daba square w by daba y square daba square w divided by daba x daba y so these expressions are called moment curvature expressions these expressions that is one two three or this matrix form are called moment curvature this is important moment curvature relations so sometimes the question may be asked that derive the moment curvature relations for plate bending problem then we have to derive this expressions moment curvature expressions ultimately see whenever we analyze a plate so ultimately to understand the bending behavior of plate we have to calculate the bending moments one for design of plate ultimate forces design forces required are mx my and mxy so to calculate this so in finite element method after calculating the nodal displacements nodal un unknowns then we have to calculate stress and strengths and stresses and after getting stresses by using moment curvature relations we can find out the bending moments because this is a bending analysis so in plane analysis what is important is the stresses and strengths where the, to understand the structural behavior of any structure subjected to in-plane forces where stresses and strengths are important, where only stresses are required to find out. However, in bending analysis, we have to calculate the bending moments in order to understand the structural behavior of a problem. So, Mx, My and Mxy and for this we have to use the moment curvature relations. So you now what, what we have seen is basically this this is the basic theory of plates which is required in finite element method for further formulation of plate bending element. Now see what uh, we have completed the we have seen the how the bending problem plate bends in two way that we have seen basic degrees of freedom per node so w vertical deflection is the only primary degree of freedom however theta x theta y are the derived degrees of freedom at the node so the basic degrees of freedom are three that is w theta x theta y then also we have seen the different theories of plates that is thin and thick plate theories then small deflection and large deflection plate theories and then the classical Kirchhoff's theory of plate bending so in classical Kirchhoff's theory of plate bending we have seen the main assumptions main assumptions in order, required in order to derive the moment curvature relations. Then we have to uh, we have seen how to find out the strengths. Then the relation between stresses and strengths, and from these stresses, how 
these stresses give rise to the bending moments mx my mxy and how to calculate these bending moments by using moment curvature relations and we have derived the moment curvature relations for the plate so in the next discussion we will see the various types of elements plate bending elements so basically there are two elements that is rectangular elements and triangular the different types of rectangular elements as well as different types of triangular element and how the displacement function is assumed within the element by using Pascal's triangle and then the derivation for element stiffness matrix. So this part will be covered uh, during the next lecture. So now we will stop here. Thank you.